It's always exciting to see black artists and creatives take a stab at collabs, and it's no different than the Heron Preston Bape, so let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite sneakerhead and the Bronx baddie, Ashley Hall, coming through with another episode of Radom. In terms of quality, I feel like the quality on this shoe is done very well. No real complaints, everything seems to be in place. So in terms of quality, I'm gonna give this shoe a five out of five. Next up, we have details. So we do have canvas, leather on the upper, also the signature Heron Preston tag that we normally see in the safety orange colorway, which complements the colorway of the shoe as well. So for details, I'm gonna give this shoe a five out of five. So in terms of desirability and hype, I feel like there hasn't been much talk about this shoe in particular, but it is a silhouette that we're very familiar with. And because it is a collab with Heron Preston, I don't see why it wouldn't get that love. So when it comes to desirability, I'm gonna give this shoe a three and a half out of five. In terms of originality, this is nothing new. We've seen this silhouette and this colorway plenty of times before, the materials as well. I think the only thing I will give kudos to are the colorway, bright orange, can't go wrong with it, but also the signature hair on Preston tag. That's about it. But in terms of originality, I'm gonna give this shoe a three out of five. Now in terms of the story, Heron is focusing on highlighting Bape's roots. That's literally all I have for you. Just highlighting Bape's roots. So in terms of the story, I'm gonna give this shoe a two and a half out of five. So I'm gonna give the Heron Preston Bape a 3.5 out of five. I feel like it's a very basic silhouette. Maybe the colorway saves it a little bit, but not enough to move me. So a 3.5 out of five. All right, so that's it for this episode of Radom. Let me know how you would rate the Heron Preston Bape. 